fresh pressure on presidency to bring back Daura. Hmm. Lobbies raised five procedural issues surrounding his sacking. The immediate past Director General of the Department of State Security Services, DSS, Malam Lawa Daura, may be on his back to the nation's security structure as fresh pressure mounts on the presidency to review his case. Daura was relieved of his appointment 17 months after in the aftermath of the invasion of the National Assembly by operatives of the DSS. But it is not immediately clear the capacity in which Daura will serve should the presidency yield to pressure. The nation gathered that Daura has been providing security advisory to the government. Some powerful forces in the presidency who are agitating for the restatement of the ex-spy boss are said to be willing weighing options on Daura's next duty. One, according to the sources, is to offer him a formal role and the other is for him to continue his present ad hoc advisory rules on security and intelligence service. Most of his backers in the presidency are said to favor an official responsibility for Daura, but this is already causing anxiety among some security and intelligence officers. A few power brokers are, however, opposed to the restatement of Dara in whatever form. Their argument is that bringing Dara back might send a wrong signal that the presidency is not united as he was removed by Vice President Yemi Oshibaju, head the fourth during President Muhammadu Buhari's illness. They said there was no need to revisit Dara's case despite the fact that a few things were wrong. Dara was sacked and arrested on the orders of the then acting president Ushibaju on August 7, 2018. The ex boss was the, the ex DSS boss was removed following public outrage over the invasion of the National Assembly complex by masked operatives of the service, which made it difficult for lawmakers and civil servants to have access to the complex. The invasion was alleged to be an attempt to intimidate the leadership of the 8th National Assembly, which was always as loggerheads with the presidency. But the sack of Daura was said to have angered some powerful forces in the presidency who are popularly called the Kaba. Findings confirmed that following pressure on President Muhammadu Buhari, he had ordered a discreet investigation into the sack of Daura. The former DSS boss has also had the opportunity to state his own side of the invasion of the National Assembly, which is described as a normal operation. It was learned that five issues had cropped up in the presidency since Daura was removed. There was procedural error in the removal of Daura because as the Commander-in-Chief President Muhammadu Buhari was informed after the SDG was removed, no formal query was issued to Daura and no one quizzed him why in detention. All items retrieved from the residence of Daura were returned intact to him, suggesting that there was no allegation of fraud. How does Daura get justice having been rubbished? Intelligence competence of Daura. A reliable source said, following recent developments, there is pressure on the presidency by some powerful forces to reinstate Daura into the nation's security structure. Technically, they alleged that Daura committed no infractions, having described the siege on the, on the East National Assembly as a normal operation of the DSS based on some clues. They alleged that since Daura was neither queried nor interrogated, he could not be blamed for anything. They said the chambers of the Senate and the House of Representatives were not invaded by DSS operatives, who only restricted themselves to the entrance gates of the National Assembly. These powerful forces were angry that the president was notified of the sack of the SDG after it has been done. They described the removal as hasty. The source said the intelligence assets and competence of Daura, despite certain controversies like the invasion of Supreme Court judges' quarters, have made some of these forces to insist on his return. Those behind Daura are saying, that his competence and international connections cannot be wished away. They do, they do not want the government to throw away the baby with the bathwater. They are asking justice for Dara, whose manner of removal was 
unbefitting. He lives with a stigma of being disgraced out of office and the sack was not a true reflection of the reality then. Another source said a few power brokers are strongly opposed to the return of Daura because it will amount to a divided presidency. The source said although it is a common knowledge that Daura is supporting the presidency, its restatement will send a wrong message to Nigerians. It will also be a slight to the vice president who was then the acting president when Daura was sacked. They argue that all over the world, if there are decisions errors by any government, they become collective responsibility to bear. They are in favor of peripheral engagement of Daura, whose intelligence link is invaluable. They have asked the presidency to avert a distortion of the nation's security apparatus, which the return of Daura might cause. Responding to a question, the source said, it is a common knowledge that those behind Daura have been fighting back with the recent intrigues in the presidency, which have whittled down the powers of the vice president. Even though the vice president, even though the president has denied cracks, the stripping of the VP of some duties was part of the Cold War over the removal of Daura. Hmm. As a press time, it was unclear if Daura will be formally brought back to the government to head a new security umbrella or it will continue to operate underground for Buari administration. But the rumors of his likely return have caused anxiety among some security chiefs. A government source said, certainly there is disquiet within the security circle since intelligence picked it up that Daura might be asked to return to play a fresh role in Buari's administration. The anxiety borders on the likely, likely rejig of the security architecture and the stepping down of some security chiefs. No one knows the mindset of the presidency. I think it is weighing its options. This is from the nation. So guys, uh, these people, they have come again. You can imagine what they are talking about. The man that was really sacked. You know, a lot of people have given their submissions concerning what really happened. Some have the opinion that, you know, he's going to have a dent on the vice president who was the acting president then because they were, we were made to believe that all that came from the president while he was in the UK. So what are we now talking about? Of course, there's that division. There's no, there's no togetherness, if I may put it that way. And there's no, there's that loopholes, you know, within the presidency. We know what is happening. They can, they can... Uh, downplay all of all of all of those things you know for all we care but we know that there's crack in the presidency so when they talk about corruption corruption is is you know on the on the increase in this administration even from the presidency you know when good luck jonathan was talking about that, stealing is not only corruption you can imagine that somebody who did such a thing and it was removed and now some people are the same cabal of course the same cabal are these people who are really angry about the whole thing now they are trying to downplay the invasion you know, to the National Assembly, saying that the uh, the civil servants, the legislators, and the House of Reps and Senators were not really deprived from entering that place. Then what was their move by going to that place in the first place? What was happening? So abnormality is the order of the day, most especially in this present administration. Of course, we know that all of these things have been happening before now, but now the people that talked about change, they talk about, you know, changing the narratives, you know, changing things from the old order that has not been, uh, you know, favoring the country or the masses. Now they are, you know, they are finding it so easy to dwell in these abnormalities. So what are we talking about? Is that not corruption? You are bringing a man... When, you know, in the recess, everybody saw what happened. Now they are trying to justify it. They are trying to, to, to twist the whole thing. Well, they can do whatever they want to do. After all, the service chiefs that people have been talking about or crying for that they should be removed and they should reject the decision. Did they even listen? They didn't listen. So let them continue with all of these things. But all I know is that everybody will still bear, bear the consequences. Everybody will bear the consequences. So that is to show you that these people, the Kabas are there. They are the one controlling even the president. That is just the way it is. See, our vice president, we can't even hear from him. He's just like, he's just there, like, you know, figurehead. He's just there. Everybody knows that. He knows that. 
his people can come and be making excuses for him if they say they want to bring Daura. So what have they really achieved? See the other man, grass cutter man. Very soon they will tell you that they want to bring him. They will tell you they want to bring him because of uh, this. Now the man that has been has been sat, you know, the former uh, SSG, uh, the position a uh, boss Mustafa is holding. You can imagine one day they will still come up with this kind of a, a narratives or with this kind of excuse that it will re relieved. You know, everything was done in a horror. The way just the way they are describing the case of a uh, Daura, the, the the former DSS boss. The way they are describing him, that the whole thing was done in a haste, but they are forgotten what they did to honor him. That everything was just in a haste because they know what they were planning. You can imagine. So they are all the same. They are all the same until we you get people who are really committed, people who are really patriotic to mark the affairs of this country. If not with what we are having irrespective of what they call experiences they've had, irrespective of their age, yet they don't have anything to offer. See the whole thing, see everything going up, up, up uh, upside down in this country, trying to bring the same man back. On what, on what ground? On what ground? So guys, that's my opinion concerning what they are saying, that the presidency is being pressured to bring back Daura back to the system again. Please leave your comments and let's hear your own take concerning this. Bye.